This is the Andy Warhol tutorial. First I'm going to set the background or canvas size to 800 by 600. Take a look there, width 800, height 600. Click OK. Now I'm going to go get the headshot. So I use layers, import from file. I have my headshot in the My Pictures folder. There's my headshot. I'm going to open that and this picture is a bit large so I'm gonna hold the shift button and drag the corner and shrink this picture up now it's about 300 pixels wide which will be good that'll give me enough room to put a total of four pictures on this canvas now on the toolbar I'm gonna get the paint bucket and I'm gonna choose a color I think I'll choose pink and I'm gonna fill the shirt and you can see that the paint spread too far I'm gonna use the undo button and use this tolerance slider and move it down to about 40 percent I'm gonna refill the shirt and that came out fine now I'm going to choose a color to fill the background and I'm going to use the paint bucket and pour some paint right in the background there. And I've got a few spots that need some touch up. I'm going to go on the toolbar and get the paint brush and choose a little bit larger brush size. Let's see, I think I'll get uh, 30 and I'll just fill in with the paintbrush some spots that were missed with the paint bucket and I'm going kinda quickly here so I can illustrate the whole project to you but that's the idea now I'm gonna make a copy of this picture so I'm going to edit copy and now I'm gonna make some changes to it so I go to adjustments hue and saturation and I'm going to use these sliders to get a different color effect. And you can see there's a lot of choices. Okay, so now I'm going to paste the original by going to edit and paste into new layer. I'm going to drag the original to the side. I'm going to go back to adjustments, hue and saturation and once again I'm going to use the slider to choose a new color alright that looks fine again I'm going to go up to edit and paste into new layer there's my original and I'm going to slide it down I will go back up to adjustments hue and saturation and I will use the slider to pick another color alright that looks good one last time I'll go over to edit paste into new layer drag that down into the corner I'll go up to adjustments hue and saturation and I'll use the slider to change the final pictures color mm, I like that okay now I'm going to use the toolbar and get the rectangle select tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle around all four images and what I'm going to do is crop this picture so that we don't see the canvas background anymore so I'm going to edit uh, that would be image crop to selection and there's my cropped picture 
Now I will save this file, save as, and I will change this to save it as a PNG type file, and I'll give it a file name. Here I'll just type Andy Warhol, and done. And then I'll save it. And I'm going to click OK right here. And then the last step is to flatten it, which is to combine all of the layers into a single image. It's saving, and we are done.